Okay. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you, God. Um, even though things are not doing well. Um, I feel like my organs just really not doing well. And I went to, to the doctor today, and you'll see a video of, of me going there. Um, and of course, it'll be blurred. But one thing is for sure is I understand what this program consists of, and your whole ecosystem is involved. I've heard testimonies that made it clear to me that doctors are fully involved in this. Yeah, I heard testimonies of botched surgery, of refusal of certain treatments, of all kinds of things, making sure that I know that doctors are involved in this, just like police is involved in that, just like law enforcement of all level is involved in this. I'm, I'm clear of that. And the reason why is because I know at the end of the day, who's running this program is this DOD entity. And they involve the whole structure because this is, is, is we talk about using human beings as test subjects so i understand so when i went to a doctor i know who these people are i mean i can literally hear a testimony of a woman who's trying to get treatment and she was treated like a third class citizen i'm hearing that right now as i'm talking to you so i know what you guys do and by the way with me they still try to play the feminist kind of thing i'm like you delusional just because you're a woman matter of fact who i'm listening to went to a doctor who's a woman treat her like trash so your gender is not going to make me change what what i see you as and you know i, I did get got shots there now listen whatever they can implant in that i don't know uh, i don't know by the end of the day i don't think they will need to do it because what they can do to me without it is already crazy so Maybe, you know, like, it's no point for me to think about it because they're capable of doing so much already. Like, w whatever they can do now is just... And, you know, they, they was, like, tell me, like... In my mind, it made me believe, like, maybe he puts AIDS and things. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's true. I think it's just a regular vaccine. But I know that my body might not even react well to it because of what's happened to my body. Right? And so, I think, if anything... It's just a regular vaccine, but how my organs are going to react to that is going to be bad because I'm no longer normal in the sense that my body is being destroyed. But it's funny, when I'm on with this man, he keeps saying, like, he tried to, like, it's funny, they try to make me see things in, like, reading between the lines. They've created the storylines of all sorts of store, of store, of sorts. No, they have no shame of how creative they can be. There is no shame of how the stories can be created zero they can make you believe it. they have no they can look at you and make a story up that is so like with no shame and really enforce this bullshit with no shame you know especially when i came here that's when they started creating this story apparently that's when this they made me imagine or they make me think that this this girl this this woman i, I call her name is corny you know They've been trying to make me believe that me and her had a child. We had an interaction in a while ago when I was in college. And, you know, there was, first there was a back and forth between what, what this interaction was. And that's something that was a back and forth with. But to add to it, to add the storylines, they start making me imagine that I had a child with her. Now, this time when I moved here, that's when all of a sudden this child came up. <laughs> And they came out and say, oh, you have an eight-year-old child with her. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I think it, it became to that level because I started having more testimonies of what they do. Not even that the validation of what they do to women and children is too obvious. So now, to make it seem like, to create this storyline that they are avenging for this woman, they even made her have a child with me. So they can counter the reality of what they do to women. The reality of what they do to children to make me ha be a father to somebody that doesn't exist at least with this woman they, they give her an age and everything and then one day they, they, they then it would change it like no actually what it was it was anal so two seconds i was a father now it's anal and i'm sorry for the language so she had birth and then like no no okay now they try to reshuffle they change things around a little bit just change it you know manipulate a little bit okay no no 
the night before was that that's when you, that's when the, the, you create this but then they have no shame and they get angry at me oh you're gonna be in chain i'm gonna kill you it's like, dude, i'd rather be in chain and die in hell than having to live a life where i have to come out and the reason why they do this the sole reason why these stories are created is because they're trying to counter the reality of what they do to women it's because their job their war is to still make me look at them as, as if they are avenging and put in uh, this woman they have no child let me see this tag individual do not subscribe to identify this to this uh, manipulation they have no shame of how storyteller they can be with zero weight they did that reality is not a factor with them they call it their reality because they can paint it the way they want it i have no child with this woman and i'll never have children with this woman zero children with this woman ever but they will try to make me believe this and make you do everything possible for me to even have the uh, let me just say i have no doubt that me and this corny have not a, not a single child together you understand so they want you to be doubtful and they have no shame on how they can create stories these people in the hall is still trying to make me believe this can you imagine living your life like that because reality is not a factor and the reason why they want me so much to have a child with her is because i'm listening to what they do to children and women and so there's been an interaction with me and her where they're like no what this is it and so they want to, to add to it they're like no matter of fact you even had a child with her they have they can paint the fictional imagery that you can imagine with no shame matter of fact i went to the doctor and they tell me i have a boy with her they even gave me the eight uh, and this man was like oh a is for apple and b is for boy i'm like you fucking 